Welcome back to Living It Away. This weekend marks the start of Kabuki in Hawaii, a week-long celebration with performances at the UH Kennedy Theater and the Hawaii Convention Center. Joining us with all the information is San Iman Tobaya, Tobaya San, the third, and Robin Faria from KZOO Radio, is, and she's acting as our interpreter today. Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you. For Thank you. I'm really looking forward to, uh, to finding out all we can about uh, Kabuki in Hawaii. But first, Robin, I want to ask you, um, if you could just tell us a little bit about Kabuki in Hawaii. When is it? Where is it? When is it happening? Okay, well, this is authentic Kabuki in Hawaii for the first time since 1967. Okay. And it's part of the 25th anniversary of the Honolulu Festival, mm -hmm. and it's also celebrating the Ganen Mono. Ganen Mono, okay. So the arrival of the first Japanese to Hawaii. Perfect. And it's also, it's happening at March... Kennedy Theater mm -hmm. from March 2nd through the 6th. And, and then the Hawaii Convention Center. And then Center. the March 8th Hawaii Convention Center. Perfect. Okay, I, I want to ask Tobias-san, yes. what is Kabuki? Can you let all our viewers know what Kabuki and Hawaii okay. is? Okay, Kabuki is, Ka is music and the musician. Bu is actor and actor skills. Ah. Ki is all of Kabuki technique. Okay. Yes. Um, is is uh, your what what is your role in Kabuki? my role? Yes. My role is a general producer and singer. Ah. That uh, music is Nagauta music. Okay. Nagauta music is very important of Kabuki. Okay. Is it is uh, is Kabuki in Hawaii just for Japanese audiences, or is it for primarily, or is it for others? Yeah, yeah, all family. Okay. すべての家族皆さんに楽しんでいただいて、日本語も勉強できるし、日本文化の勉強もできる。Okay, Robin, thank so you. So it's for the entire family, and it's also to learn Japanese, and it's also a part of the culture. So it's mm -hmm. a very important part of the Japanese culture. So anybody interested in yes. the culture in, in itself, plus I'm sure that the music, uh, the music, I, I've heard the music myself. And, and just love it. It's actually kind of serene and a little bit of relaxing. Yes, um, it is. So there's a little bit of that in the show too then. Yes, and the, um, the music which he mentioned also sets the tone for the entire set. Okay, and I also hear that you guys actually come to Hawaii quite a bit, don't you? I'm... Well, actually it was hmm. the last time was 1957. Oh, and so it's been a it's while. Been I, I apologize, years. I didn't yes. understand that a little bit. Yes. Okay, so you, it's been... 52 years. Wow, yeah. that, that is a lot. I'm ca actually kind of surprised. With uh, so many uh, Japanese here in the islands, I'm surprised. Why did it take so long to come to come back then? I guess there's a lot of different factors. Mm, you know, they're, they're performing in Japan and mm -hmm. different reasons. Um, okay, so then the, I guess the next most important question then is how do folks get tickets? <laughs> You go to, you Google Kabuki in Hawaii 2019, okay. and you, you can uh, order your tickets you online. Can, okay, order tickets online. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate it. Um, Kabuki in Hawaii, uh, if I had to ask um, a, what people can expect going to a show like this, could you just briefly describe uh, everything somebody you might experience? First of all, music introduce and dance, renjishi dance. Okay. So there's going to be music and there's going to be that Jishi dance. Perfect. Thank you guys so much. You have the information on your screen. We're also going to throw that information up on our website. Um, and I think we'll probably even go ahead and give you a link to where you can get tickets. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, you so enjoy much. your time and uh, enjoy the show, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Thank All you right, up much. next, getting your cakey involved in water sports.